slightly wet. And that's going to make it so that I can squish up these little tees a little bit. And I'm going to kind of, while it's wet like this, I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm just going to squish that that tee in half and give it a good squeeze and make it as small as possible. Alright, so it holds its shape there. And then we're going to take that tee and put it over and into that hole there. So. The harder it is to get in there, the better off you're going to be in the end. Okay. I got to push through. I'm going to flip it over. Try to get that T all the way through and opened up so it's a nice little lock right there. Not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so once you have it so that it's semi-locked in there, try to work the next one in. And uh, as you get a few of them done, you can go back and push the other ones into position. I wish there was a more graceful method that I knew for this, but right now I'm just going to look like exactly what it is. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, the second one goes in a lot easier. Alright, I'm going to try to stay in the frame of the video for the rest of this, but basically um, what, what I've done is I've just continued on up and poked these T's down into the hole and it's much harder to do in the frame of the video than it is down in your lap so um, continue on until you get to the top and keep inserting your form to make sure that everything's working out right. Now it shouldn't really go all the way to the end. Um, it should have some resistance and as you come up the top here you're going to notice that it, it kind of is farther and farther away from the end. That's good. Because um, what we're going to do is get this whole thing wet and really smash this in there and that way we don't have to apply any glue or anything. And uh, Everything's going to shrink around it, and we should get this molded effect, like on the other one I was showing you. Okay, so here we go. If you find an easier method, by all means, use it. Size it in there. I'm, I'm taking my finger on the inside and kind of flattening them out. 
all the moisture is out of the sheath. I didn't really dip it too long. And if you can manage to do this without the moisture, I found that it stretches the tabs less and um, when you do apply moisture later on to shrink it around the sheath it'll lock a little bit better. Okay. Seem to have found a method that's not quite so awkward for this position. Scandinavian sheath design coming right out right there. Let's see how this fits. Yeah, that's gonna stretch in there real nice. Okay. Okay, the last one. big one. Alright. Get one side of that T in and push the other side through. There we go. Okay. So now we're all stitched up. Players would probably help out a lot, but there we go. And then let's see here. <coughs> this one goes from the outside and up into it. So. Ah, stick the point there, that's easier. Okay. Somewhere along the line here, I, I don't know. I was trying to stylize it, and I screwed it up. So if you screw it up, don't worry about it. You can always do something to fix it. I don't know what that's going to be, but... I think it's just important that both sides are kind of the same. It just kind of feels like it should have an upswept. So that's what it's getting. 
sure it doesn't come out, get it back in there, and uh, don't worry about it coming out again because we still have to uh, get this entire sheath wet and then jam our insert in and that'll tighten everything up and then once it shrinks around it, we're golden. So um, that's what we're going to do right now. Let me check to see that I'm not going to run out of video. Good? we got a few minutes. And I'm going to take the sheath and I'm going to put it in water. Should probably have a little bit bigger bowl than this, but this will work. I'm going to soak it for a few minutes. Not really a few minutes, but about a minute. And I don't know what the proper amount of time to soak is. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that can chime in and, and add to this whole thing. Hopefully I learn more from this than I'm teaching because uh, I think it's a really cool technique. I, I like the idea of not having to stitch anything. As hard as it is getting those little T's in there, it doesn't seem nearly as hard to me as drilling or poking holes and then grabbing big heavy thread and needles and vices and I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work. I'll leave that to the pros. Okay, so this is pretty wet. Um, it's wet on the inside. I'm going to make sure it's wet on the inside. I think that's what this design's for, is uh, letting water out of the sheath. All right. And it's, it's pretty wet now, so I'm going to take this sheath, make sure my little insert is still in line. All right. And try to run the seam right up the sheath. Okay. I'm going to do my best to push that down in there. And we can actually kind of forcing it down into the base. In fact, I may even really put my weight on it. There, I like it. Alright. So now, I'm going to go run this under some water. And uh, the next time you see me, it's going to be uh, about two hours from now, and we're going to start... Sorry about that. We're going to start tooling it. <laughs> 